Good morning and welcome to Christchurch Reflections. My name is Warren Tranter. In my last reflection, one of the verses I shared was from Isaiah 9. And today I will read verses 6 to 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Four months ago, we had the joy of welcoming our first grandchild, Joshua, into our lives. He has been that indescribable gift to Chris and Alison, and they are dedicated to love and care for the precious child entrusted to them. Many months ago, he was a potential gift, wrapped up in his mother's womb, the excitement building, the expectations mounting as his birth approached, and the big question, was it going to be a boy or a girl? Then all the waiting was over. He is with us. A lovely present. I can feel the warmth of the verse I started with. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. It is so personal, so inclusive, so positive and promising. I remember one Christmas having as a theme unwrapping Christmas and around the church were boxes of all, sh so all shapes and sizes wrapped beautifully and waiting to be opened throughout the Advent season. In our homes coming up to Christmas Day, all kinds of presents are placed at the foot of the Christmas tree and I expect you, like me, sit and look at their shapes and begin to wonder, I wonder what's inside. Last week, I was at a friend's funeral. In the past, we'd worked together in the Boys' Brigade. He was a lovely, gentle Christian man and very involved in his church and family. At these services, you learn so much about the person you thought you knew so well. In the tribute, it, I was, it was told that David loved giving presents. However, often when family members weren't around, he would unwrap some of them, take out the original gift and insert something old and tatty much to everyone's amusement. The point I want to make is that you have to unwrap a gift to discover what's inside. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Here is the promise of God's gift to our world. His son, Jesus, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. The God who freely offers us his wisdom, his counsel his eternal life, his peace, his presence in our lives by the gift of his Holy Spirit, his forgiveness of sin freely offered as he paid the price of our wrongdoing on the cross, the God who has made himself known to us. As in Roman times, so today, 
the worship of gods made by human hands is prolific, replicating the behaviours of nations described in the Old Testament. We create our shrines, decorate our gardens with stone images, buy into the consumer cult, worship at the altar of influencers, who, who will be replaced with new idols, leaving us even more discontented. I remember in the fifth form having to write an essay discussing the statement, I'd rather be dead than out of fashion. And that was an interesting subject for the early 60s. But let me read to you a lovely verse from Luke, lovely verses from Luke 2, verses 19 and 20. And it says these words, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. If you think of her journey from the first time when the angel told that she was going to bear a son to that moment when he had arrived, the shepherds had been to worship, then she says she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. To treasure something is to keep it precious, to cherish it, to prize it, to collect and store it up because it's so valuable for the future. She treasured it. What do you treasure? And it says she pondered it. She treasured and pondered them in her heart. To ponder is to think or consider, especially quietly, soberly, deeply, reflectively. Ponder the message of Christmas. And what a challenge that is when everything and everyone seeks our attention. In the final verse, the shepherds returned glorifying God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. The theory, the message, became a reality. When we unwrap the gift of Christmas, we would discover real treasure. As in the past centuries and in our own time, with great shame and pain, we see the neglect and abuse of children. May we as Christians not be ashamed of, nor neglect the transformative message originally given by the angels to the shepherds. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Allow me to pray for you for today. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we recognise that in a day of rush and tear when people use the phrase continually, I'm so busy, we ask, O oh God, that we will begin to ponder, reflect, consider seriously the incredible gift of your Son to us. May we take time to treasure this amazing gift in our hearts, in our lives, in our homes and in our church. May we not neglect the gift that God has given to us in Jesus. And, O oh God, we pray that as those who our Christians, may we share the wonder of this gift with those around us. Help us, O oh God, this day to contemplate on this message. And may, Lord, we experience your love and grace in our lives and share it with all who we meet. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My song that I've chosen for today is Mary Did You Know? 
and it's by Pentatonics, a lovely quintet of young people who sing this song so beautifully in amazing surroundings. I trust you enjoy it and God bless you throughout your day. Goodbye.